Hi, I'm Craig via Floor Noah, and in this video I'm going to evaluate an improper integral and determine whether it converges or diverges. Here's the problem I'll be solving today. An improper integral is defined as a definite integral in which one or both of the endpoints increase or decrease without bound. In other words, if one of the endpoints is infinity or negative infinity, it's an improper integral. And in this case, we're evaluating the integral on the interval from zero to infinity. Thus, it is an improper integral. To determine convergence or divergence, I'm going to use what's called the integral test, which basically just states uh, evaluate the integral at the given endpoints, and if it's equal to a value or converges to a value, then it converges, otherwise it diverges. I'm just going to use u substitution to solve this integral, setting u equal to x squared, the derivative of u du d, uh, excuse me, du dx equal to 2x. So dx is equal to du over 2x. And now, just rewriting this integral in terms of u, we get x sine x squared, we said was equal to u. dx, we said was equal to du over 2x. And now this is the power of u substitution. You, when you designate certain uh, variables or functions within the integral um, and differentiate them, they will oftentimes cancel. And that's what happens in this case, and is what uh, the usefulness behind u substitution, because now that gives us a much a more manageable and simpler integral to evaluate. So indeed, these two x's cancel here, and I'm going to move this one half to the outside of the integral, which you can do with all constant coefficients. And rewriting the integral, we have sine of u du, which is much nicer and more manageable than what we had initially. So we have 1 half negative cosine u, which is integral of sine. And we're evaluating that from 0 to infinity. And we set u equal to x squared. So let's plug that back in here cosine x squared from 0 to infinity. And lastly, I'm also going to pull this negative one out. Let's do the 1 half. So we have cosine x squared evaluated on the interval from 0 to infinity. And now we just plug in these points. So we have cosine of infinity squared which is kind of weird, minus cosine of zero squared. And often this is what happens with uh, in, improper integrals. You're dealing with infinity, and it's kind of an unusual situation. But basically what we can determine from this is the cosine of infinity squared, which is just cosine of infinity, is an interval that's negative 1 to 1. So that's not an actual value. So no matter what this is, or this is, um, unless this is also cosine of infinity squared, then it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. Um, it's not going to converge to a value. Thus, it diverges. Those terms are mutually exclusive. They, uh, if, if this is a range, then this integral does not converge, which means it diverges. And so what you get when you distribute this one half, and this is cosine of infinity minus one, is you get an interval from zero to one, but basically, that means 
this improper integral diverges. So let's go back up here, initial problem. And this function on the range, or on the interval from zero to infinity, does not converge, and thus it diverges.